Hopla! <laughs> Take me to your leader. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Knocked Conscious. Episode four. That's Quattro with a four. Quattro with an F, I think. Yes. Admiral Conspiracy? Good afternoon to you, sir. Oh. Private first class seaman of the <laughs> knobby skull syndrome. I think is why I have a tinfoil condom yes. on instead of a tinfoil you have many, hat. many, looks like some bulbuses on <laughs> your dome. Well, speaking of. Yes. Today's Conspiracy Day, my friend. It is? Conspiracy Day. I'm excited. We're going to have a conversation about conspiracy. Very day. happy to be here. I am more happy that you're here because this is the first time you've crossed over. Whoa. Uh, what's that thing where you go on different things and you... A crossover. A crossover. Yeah. Sure. Crossover episode. Not a crossfit, a crossover. <laughs> Nothing about me no. says cross. Well, not everything says cross. Nothing says fit. Sure. But... <laughs> so we're wearing and these in, in honor of that. And yours is a certain way because of yeah. some bra yeah, I brave lengths. I learned, I learned that the shiny part must be on the inside. And the dull and the out. Shiny in, dull out. Uh, apparently, it protects it protects my brain waves from getting out even past that first layer. To Who where? Knew? Where would they escape? They. To, to them. Them? Yeah. It's yeah. always them. Whenever it comes to a conspiracy, it's us and them, right? Who's them? Them. Them, them is a lot of motherfucking people. Okay. Them is a lot of people. But uh, we're going to talk about just a couple of them, though. Okay. Because I think they branch out into, like, so... So many other ones. Everything else. Yeah. All the thems. Yeah. So I think with the first one, we're going to talk about two. The first one is an operation called Operation Northwoods. It actually never took place, but was really close. And the second one is actually about uh, Flight 103, the Lockerbie Scotland bombing of Pan Am Flight 103. What year was that? 91 or 89? 88. 88. Uh, we're going to talk about those two, and obviously we're going to go in a million different directions. But uh, I hope you enjoy this. Welcome to Knocked Conscious. Put on your tinfoil hats with us and get ready to rumble. So, sir. Yes. Northwoods. Yes, sir. We talked about that one, and you never heard of it before I, I mentioned never heard it. Is that correct? It. Never heard of it till 10 days ago, maybe two weeks. Okay. And, and I never heard of it until I heard of it. So it's not like I walked in knowing. You know what I mean? Just to be clear, it's not like I'm like, look at me. I know you don't. Anyway, I would never say days that about ago. you. I know, but I just in case I can be perceived sometimes as that a know it all person. <laughs> yeah, okay. and I don't think you are a know it all. I think you. No, admit I think I'm a know it all. I'm not a know it all. You ever wonder why you wonder? <sighs> you you wonder you wonder wonder. Sure, fish call wonder. So I didn't know about. Uh, North Operation Northwoods until very recently, and then okay. I read a lot about it. And uh, when I mentioned that to you, yes, sir. Do you remember the initial conversation about it, or anything I said to you, like, "Hey, did you ever hear about this thing?" And I kind of outlined it a little bit. Yes. How? What was your thought? I was surprised because I mean I had heard of the Bay of Pigs and obviously the Cuban Missile Crisis and Kennedy and you know I and I'm I'm a history guy like. It's very interesting. Geography interests me, and and history interests me. So I I think I know a significant amount about those two things. So the fact that I knew nothing about it, the fact that I had never even heard the term before, mm -hmm. I was surprised by that. Yeah. So does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So even hearing that. So what did you learn in, in your research? Kind of outline it for the, sure. for the audience. Sure. I learned uh, 1962, uh, American government, American military, all the way up to the most high general, uh, four-star general, head of the Joint Chief of Staffs. I think it was called something different then. It's, they renamed it Joint Chief of Staffs, but it was called something different then. The head guy, the head military guy. Um, four-star army general. It was Operation Mongoose or something. Off, it was like a tail end off of that. Um, I think is what they said. It said months after the launch of Operation Mongoose. Sure, whatever. So maybe um, maybe that was it, but anyway. whatever it takes. So they, it was a proposal by the highest military officer in the American military to 
attack U.S. forces, ships, and aircraft in and around Cuba with U.S. forces disguised as Cuban forces, then blame Cuba for this so that we could invade Cuba. Did I get all that right? Yes. <laughs> Does and, that and seem fantastical? And fuck. Um, and and it, if I may add on to that really quickly, no, I, think they, I think they mentioned possibly remote flying a commercial jet liner. And crashing it and blaming it on the Cubans as well. No, I didn't. I didn't read that, that part. That was part of one as well. From my understanding, you can all look it up, and we'll put a couple links up about Operation Northwoods. But um, that was another one because that one then leads into oh, remote flying back in 1962, Two. and huh, 2001. That's like 40, 39 years later. Wonder if they they could do that. You know, not connecting anything. Just, There's no dots. <clears throat> just There's no connecting. We're not allowed to make jumps, like leaps to conclusions. It's a jump to conclusions, man. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> you jump to a conclusion. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yes, please continue about that. So, basically, it was um, us doing things to ourselves, blaming it on another country so we can invade and you justify it. Somehow. The justification of a military invasion of Cuba. Yeah. And I, I read that they were going to disguise MIG like aircraft uh, as well as have some other communist activities in Miami and Washington and other Florida cities, which I, it's just so outlandish. Yeah. It's really, really, really. I think it's really creative. Oh, sure. Like, well, it's it's movie creative, like movie script creative. Mission Impossible eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Tom Cruise with spy, or uh, I'm sorry, what Top Gun it? with spies. Sure. Just like Days of Thunder's Top Gun with cars, but different. But the same. Right. <laughs> um. But yes. So yeah, Mission Impossible eighteen. That sounds like a movie script. But. The thing that really gets me is, I believe it was on the president's desk. It did make it to the president's desk. Mr. Kennedy. That is baffling. That it met every check and balance that we have in our pretty check and balance slow-moving kind of government. I mean, it's designed that way. Right? Well, there was less checks and balances in 62. True. I mean, probably, there was probably just what a Secretary of State. I don't want to speak. But I mean, I'm sure there's Secretary, Secretary of State, State Secretary, Secretary of War, Defense, Defense, right? I mean, a couple but, wasn't all the cabinet positions for no, sure. No, but I'm sure. I mean, every every single day, there's more bureaucracy being added. That's true. At every level, in every department of everywhere, right? Yeah. So I'm sure now it's significantly more horrible than it's ever been, and it's just going to get worse. Yeah. So then I'm thinking it's going to be less, but still, this seems like a crazy. It seems like a story. Yeah, and 62 really launched, I mean, that was a, the pivotal point of the, we wanted to stop the spread of communism. Yes. So we hadn't even done Vietnam yet, I don't believe, right? We started so in 63. 60, right. So that I think France was still in Vietnam at that point. Absolutely. At some point, right? Yes. Um, so there was a lot of stuff going on, specifically that seemed to have that shift of power of communism versus capitalism or democracy. democracy yes. Our way of life and all that stuff. So that was a really interesting thing, but- that it made to the president's desk. Correct. Um, that is scary AF, right? I mean. As fuck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I said fuck earlier, so I didn't want to yeah, be redundant. We, oh, my God. This is making my head sweat, bro. Bro, you can you can remove Ooh. that. I hope your brainwaves are protected. I'm going to I'm going the full. I'm going to do it. Uh, you do you, man. Okay. I'm just saying I'm it committing little, to this. You have some boldnesses. I do. It's a... Oh, it's a little uh, mohawky. It's a little, yeah, it's a little bit. I like it. Shout out to my girlfriend. The Megs. She did it. Megsy. You're welcome. She did it. Yes, thank you for that, You're by the way. Um, so this this operation like spread into military and basically like a, almost like creating accidents or events to blame on others. 
it seems like a lot of things happen around the world that we look for a, a scapegoat or some kind of right. We need someone to pay for it, right? Well, hang on. So President Kennedy said no. Correct? Yes. He thank fucking goodness. Yes. So according to all of our reading that he declined or he vetoed He did not he did not sign it. Correct. That's basically all it was. He just I think he just did not do it. Right. He just didn't do it. Which also I read that that continued a poor relationship that he already had with the military. Mm. And that let that the Bay of Pigs, like I mentioned, and the right. Russian Missile Crisis, that Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah. So those those things, it was already a tumultuous relationship that the president had with the military during those short years that he was in the office. Huh, and then he was assassinated. So. By one guy. Supposedly. With a rifle. In Old Dallas. Action. Yeah. Just happened to be. But that's not the conspiracy that we're talking about. No, we're not. I'm just, but I'm okay with the tangent. Well, it's more of a continuation, right? Because, like, I let's be honest. It. Well, your point is, he doesn't sign this accord or this Thing, initiative document. Okay, he doesn't give the go ahead. Handed to, to him it. by the general, by the by the top guy. Yes, sir. He does not do it. He's already in conflict, and he dies of a gunshot wound. Yes. It just, you know, you think that's too ironic? But just see. No, it's no Alanis. No, it's not ironic. I mean, do you think it's too coincidental? It's, it's correlative, but not causation. No, like it, I, I could connect a dot to that possibly. Do you want to I, delve into that? No, I don't want to go too much further. I just wanted to kind of skirt on it though. But it's interesting that 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 kind of chain of events happen, right? And that's a conspiracy theory in its own. Yeah, we, absolutely. You know. And then and then we look about what Operation North, Northwoods had in it about remotely flying an air, a jet airliner. And we actually had an, an incident that included four of them. So you're saying that nine 11 had that were remotely piloted. I've never heard of that. I'm before. not, I'm not saying that. I'm just curious now that they had remote flying technology back in 62. There are questions around nine 11. I had never heard that theory before ever. So, um, but, but using a jet airliner as a weapon, as a weapon, okay, not, the remote as a part. not the remote part, but, but it could the, be, the, okay. We don't know about the Pentagon one. We don't have, right. The only one that you have voices of are the flight 93, right? When they took yes. over, when they refought, yes. The other ones didn't have anything. The other two didn't have anything. I don't think no recordings. N I, not that I know. Right. Like, no, like, New oh York. my God. Right. In New York. I don't think anyone had a recording. The only one is on flight 93. I think somebody called somebody here. There was some, something like that. Right. Cause there's a movie about it. We're going to take down the flight. Right. This could be the last time I talked to right. you. I love you. Right. So that could have been that looking at people, but there are thoughts that that was shot down as well. They, you know, they don't know. Right. So, or they know, but we're not being told. Right. They know I'm not being told. Um, but we don't know. We're not hundred percent sure, but we see that something like this could have happened in 1962. And that's what a long time ago. 58 years ago yeah so now we're like it could do it back then holy fuck what's our capabilities now oh it's so every decision that the government makes to me <laughs> almost is like what's their angle i love your hat so much thanks bro <laughs> i love you man oh mira you're the best so every decision the government make, makes what is questionable uh, yeah it's like what's in it for you or what what's your angle like, it's almost everything's like an angle to me now. And I don't see it at face value like 90% of people do to, like, move forward. You How do I mean? you better position the government going forward, not what's best for the people, is what you're saying? Well, what I'm saying is every time I see something the government does, I suspect some kind of shady shit. So um, something we, you know, it's not a conspiracy theory or whatever that we were going to talk about specifically, but, um, there's, you know, you talked about the made in America one with the, the pilot for the CIA running drugs or whatever. And then we talked about how the United States went in Afghanistan. Right. And since, since the United States involvement in Afghanistan we with the military, that. remember the opium yeah, field? We, we you and I had a conversation offline about oh, that. Yeah. We had it offline about that. Yes. Sir. But yes, but having that conversation offline about how that, grew so it's like everything we do 
Okay, so wait we have an angle. Start and we over. Fuck it up. So, opioids. Oh, my point. Afghanistan. Right. My what? whole my whole point is I'll I'll get back to that. I guess. Okay. But my whole point about it is every decision made, why we do things, why the military does what it does, why we're instructed to do this, that, or the other, is like a what's the angle? Not oh, I think that's a good idea. Like I I double question all of it, and some of it I probably is just normal. But I focus so much on the conspiracy sides. If that makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. So why do I do that, man? Should I get a couch? We all need a couch. <laughs> Maybe your hat's on too tight. Oh, no, it's pretty loose. Man, it comes right off. All right, all my baby. <laughs> I did that on the last one, too, so I should hey, You, do it. you I can sing that redundant. song every time. Spaceballs? Yeah. Totally allowed. Absolutely. That's fucking the best. Yes. The best scene in any movie. That's not true. What's the best scene in a movie? The cantina scene from Star Wars. Oh, shit, that's true. See? You're welcome. You'll be dead. <laughs> so, back, so back to Northwoods. Um, that expounds on so many things we were going to talk about, right? Like, do these... I mean, we were almost capable of hurting ourselves and for the better good. Okay, that's... For what reason? So let's, th- let's back up a second. Okay. So... Objectively speaking, let's think, let's put ourselves in the shoes of this general guy. Okay. Was he doing that with the best of intentions? Did, was he worried that Cuba was a, a real threat to the United States? Yes. Why? Did they have... Well, they had they, Russia's backing. They, right. They, they were on our hemisphere, or, well, not... Yeah. East from Western, not... They were in the Western right. Hemisphere. Right. They're communist. Right. They they could have... Anything could the have been... The proximity s- of the United States was an immediate... 90 um, miles uh, away. Threat, so sure. they were trying to provoke Cuba into starting something so that we could wipe them off the face of the map. It sounds like. Right. I think it was we were provoking ourselves. We were faking it. Yes. We, we generated events in or would, would have generated events to pull us into this thing why wouldn't it sounds like we would do that that, that he would want to do that or that the the, the military would want to do that to get the american people behind the decision as well as the the russians would would back off a little like oh wow look what the cubans did like they were they went rogue Right. I and see. instead of the Americans just saying "f it," let's just let's just blow them away, right. which we could have done. It, I, I yeah. would think. But I, I think step. I don't. I think blowing them away would have been a challenge with the Soviets. Right. That That's my point. Yeah, we would. Have, we would have created a why problem. America rarely is the initial aggressor. We are. True. We never make it look like we are. Yeah, what I find interesting is everything we've fixed, we've created the other problem, right? Like, Iran-Contra puts Hussein in power for the most part. Uh, uh, Manuel Noriega is put in power in Panama, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we got Castro to get... I mean, we made all these people... Dictators? We made... We gave people some pretty absolute powers. Did we put... Qaddafi in power? There's, uh, there's no Qaddafi had been there since. Well, I can't say that we did or didn't, but he was there since like sixty nine. So it was like forty two years that he was in right, power. Right, but before sixty nine, how did he get? Yeah, I, I don't know enough okay. about that. I, okay. I, you know what? I'm happy to research and I'm happy to talk about we'll that on back. another day. Because we'll I think that. Libya, well, that one's going to be important. Right, as we, but I was curious it's a good how question. that because I, just like you said. Hussein and there's all these right. other people that America has the best intentions. Like, oh hey, yeah. if we do this with this government, which we're always meddling, and I don't right. know, I don't agree with that. Well, that's the thing is we proactively meddle, thinking we're solving a problem or preventing a problem. We create ten other ones. Yeah, we don't even think that we would see when it seems obvious we should. I, I could not agree more. So, that's a really that's the United States has historically done that. For sure. Just Since got in their hands, you know, and look to the world, the world's looked to us to solve everything too. Don't get us wrong. 
right? How many times have they said, "Come help us with Somalia or help, help yes. jump in Bosnia and Herzegovina? Yeah, not not that we that. shouldn't. Right. Not that we shouldn't. That is not the point. Right. The and point is, ethnic cleansing. You know, come on. Like the whole point of Team America is like, it's a joke, but it's kind of a joke because it's true. World police. The world police. Like they, the you know, NATO and the UN is not the fucking world police. Let's, they, they use our military. Yeah, military. They use all the country's militaries to provide that. So it is still the military of the United States. But yeah. we're asked to go into so many things to help so many things because we're looked at as number one, which is like what we want. But that's also the burden that comes with. Of being course. Number one. Yeah. So I understand we're put in some pretty weird positions, but as you and I talked offline is like, to what end, right? Like what bad can we do to preserve what we currently have? Like our way of life and whatever we've done bad things to preserve that in our history. Of course. But is, does, you know, does the juice, is the juice worth the squeeze? Like, right. is, it, is it right to do because of the bigger picture that we are doing right or doing good? Right. Because it's the guise of doing good, right? Cause isn't that a subjective, even to some extent, good what one person think is good may not be good to someone else there's probably been tens of thousands of those examples since 1850 that is ridiculous in, in the american just in american history alone yeah. i mean i don't know i'm guessing well, i have would, no idea just expansion into the west well, yeah, I mean, obviously. I'm sorry. Like, we fucking destroyed. Yeah, the Native Americans. Fucking cultures. Yeah. But we do that. I mean, the British did that in India and Bangladesh and. But they didn't destroy yeah. the culture. I mean, India still was. India, they just kind of ran it. But India had people. Like, how many Native Americans were left? That's true. We I mean, slaughtered. And then we gave them a handful and gave them fucking shitty lands. Yeah, like, it's not. Yeah. Like, Britain oversaw India, but it wasn't like that. It wasn't like India too, or it wasn't Britain too. You know what I mean? It well, wasn't like you, Britain land I mean, there's part some, two. There's some serious, if you talk to people from Conflicts, India or Bangladesh, sure. they hate British people. I yes. mean, they didn't, it wasn't like, no, they were an occupying Britain. force. Yes. They, like, they ruled with an iron fist. Right, but that was like us occupying Iraq, right? I mean, it's, a, it's an occupying force. Well, more I mean, than it is the like British a, killed a lot of people from yeah. those countries. Oh, absolutely. They killed the men or they made the men farm the fields. Right. And they said, no, you can't plant this anymore. You got to plant this. That's so, but those are the French did that. The Portuguese did that. The Spanish did that all over, you know, since the dawn of yeah, colonization. Imperialism. Imperialism. Yeah, so that's just, oh, hey, let's make our way. Colonialization this way. or whatever. C colonization. Colonization. Or yes. And imperial, imperialism, I think, was the other one. Okay, great, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, anyway, so that we're capable of all that stuff is... But just, that's... I mean, I want to say that's human nature, but it's... Uh, is it to want to... Let's just take Spain. And the, they sailed to South America to colonize the whatever. Yeah. Is that really human nature to do that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's greed. It's human nature to want to procreate. And well, survive. That's human nature. But to sail to another land. Right. That's. It's not chimp nature. No. It's human nature. It, and, and I'm going to say there is a difference, right? It's about the, the ego starts to play in there at that point. Oh, absolutely. So you've got fame, riches, power, glory by doing, the, the by taking that, that risk. Ego. Right. So all of that stuff was. It was a, just a guy going, hey, I want Spain to be the most powerful and I'm fucking tough, right? Coronado or... All those guys. Yeah, all those guys. But yeah. there's... I think Coronado was a guy who was like... He was like beat up pretty good. He had like three major injuries and like major battles. That dude just fucking fought and killed and whatever. Oh, yeah. He just, it was, yeah, he just it was got horrible. in it with everybody. I mean, you know, usually it's not like it was like a Napoleon where you're just kind of sitting in the back. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like instructing. This dude right. This he dude was, was a part slaughterer. of... Yeah, he was a pretty bad dude. You all right? Yes, I'm going to live. Stub my finger. <sighs> Tetanus time. Uh-oh. That's another conspiracy. Oh, to put a Lord. chip in you. God. Thank God for the brainwave blocker. I need to put them on my fingers. The brainwave blocker, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, so as we were talking, um, 
Yeah, but that that's what I think drove them, right? And greed. It was about getting resources, getting hopefully get gold, hopefully getting whatever. Or Coming bringing back with slaves glory back to right. Whatever the whatever it was, it was conquering, expanding. It was all it was all greed based. It's all that is the human condition because the chim condition is more sharing. We're actually the ego gets in the way for us. We get right. greed. Greed's the bad one. It's consciousness, whatever that you want to call that. I don't know what. It, why it's that, but it seems to be that way. But anyway, so back to Northwoods. Or yes. do you have a thought about that? No, no, I'm I'm good. About the constant you squinted. No, I was just uh, no, I'm good. Okay, Northwoods. Yeah, so we're back to that. So basically, this was something where our government was going to do something to our own people and blame another government, so we get pulled into a war. And what's we interesting? Start a war. Yeah, start a war. Not pull yeah, like sorry. start start correct. And, and, and if it's with Cuba, it would be like it would be three days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but with with mil- with Soviet backing, well, no, it would have been a nuclear strike. Well, right? I mean, it would have been the, the actual missile crisis could have actually detonated a nuclear bomb. Who, okay, wait, or, or could have? It could have. Yes, knows? but go ahead. No, please. A couple of B fifty twos could have just carpet bombed Cuba, yeah. and it would have been over. Yeah, then. Russia's they're not stupid. Right. They would have they they know it's mutually assured destruction. Right. Are but they the, are they willing to do that for an island yeah. not even in their hemisphere? Right, because they want a base in that hemisphere. First of all, they want a footprint there. Of course they do. But did. But the truth is if we just carpet bomb fucking Cuba, the world would turn. We would have no Against America. We would have no allies at that. I'm sorry, we just wouldn't. If it was uncovered like that we would have no right but if if we if the, if the, let's say all of our allies all of europe they yeah. Amer- a thousand americans were killed by and we have proof it was cuba right and then we just right no way it's a whole cult it's be a whole culture i mean we're talking about i don't know how many people cuba has but in at that time i have no idea yeah but it's a it's an entire let's culture. say it was a million that'd be genocide and no world power has ever no world power that's existed or continued has ever Except committed genocide. Russia. I mean, uh, Germany. Germany. Right. But Germany didn't succeed. Continue, right. It was 35, let's say 35 to 45. They had a 10 year fucking reign. Sure. It was shit, but it was about 10 years. Yes. It wasn't like crazy. Right. Right. Let's be honest. It wasn't like, I mean, Hussein had more than that. Obviously, Gaddafi had 40 plus years, right? So to that end, um, whatever. I forget. Okay. My point. Which is perfect. But, uh, no. Um, what, what other, how many other horrible things has America done? Has American agencies, American. Done or allowed? Yeah. In the name of patriotism, in the name of freedom. With this on? Pearl Harbor? Well, there's obviously President Roosevelt the second wanted. They. He wanted a war with Japan, but yeah, he didn't we, needed us, a, we needed a reason. We wanted to get out of the depression. Well, we needed a reason to get in the war. Right. We were we were starting to come out of the depression because we were already manufacturing for the war. We were giving Britain yes. and Europe arms yes. and tanks and planes. You know, yes. And we were obviously equipping for it already. Yes. So it wasn't a depression thing, but we needed America to be on board, right? Yeah. We needed a reason to get into the war. Right. But he didn't want to be the aggressor again. Right. We couldn't just... Well, the Americans weren't on board. They wouldn't sign up. Right. I'm sorry. We. It wasn't on our fucking turf. The, ima- the average American would not sign up. Yeah, let's see. At that point. And it wasn't out of fear. It's just like, it doesn't affect us right now. We're not concerned. Right. Like, don't get me wrong. Do you hate Do you hate Hitler? Fuck yeah. What do you want to do about it? Well, he's not, he's not a factor. He's, he's not, over there. Right. He's all the fucking way over there. We don't care. He's not like, on the beaches of New yeah. York. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's a bit, that was a big part of it. Mm-hmm. So we needed a reason. They knew we knew we were giving stuff. They were buying bonds even before the war and all that to, you know, to help or whatever. I'm sure the rationing was still already going on at that point because it, it was a global event, right? Um, so we, we needed the reason, right? And did we allow it to happen? Did we 
do we move our first fleet out? Our main, our brand new destroyers Carriers. and battleships and carry whatever we had the day, the night or the day before, and left the shit behind that we knew was just a rust bucket and whatever. I mean, the fucking Arizona was what nineteen eighteen. Did we allow three thousand soldiers years to old. die? Right. The did the American government at that time allow that to? Right. Did allow we, may not right. be the right word. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it is allow in a weird way. So that did they not? Did they not try to stop it if right. they knew it? Or did they... Or did they not know? Did they not meet the J Japanese Navy out at sea and try to defeat them instead of letting them bomb a, a, a U.S. state? Was it a state then? Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. Yes. No, it wasn't a state No, like not yet. 51 or something. Right, 57. So a, 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 a U.S. It military... Territory. It was a U.S. military installation. installation. So fucking, <laughs> you owe me a coke, bro. Okay, jinx, jinx. So yeah, I understand your point. They, 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 the American government used the attack to get men to enlist in the armed services. Well, just to be on board with or, us going in, right? Not even to get well, men. They, we already had men. We had a military. Well, yeah, but, you, but we needed the military to attack. We needed well, the military to finish up the job. But you're talking about Ro Roosevelt's plan was to go to war in Europe and in in Asia. So you need right. millions of American men. I don't disagree with you. So that means Marines, that means Navy, that means Army, that means all the people to continue to build all the infrastructure to support those people. Correct. And I don't disagree with you, but there is a little point there. Sure. Did, did they expect the jumping on the military bandwagon to sign up? That that might have been an unknown, right? Like the the rea the Americans' reaction to it, us being outraged and actually doing something about it are two very different things, yeah, right? Yeah. Like in two thousand nine eleven happened, right? You had a small handful of people. Like there were a little there was a little uptick, yeah. But it wasn't like millions didn't show up, right? Right. And obviously it's a different world, greatest generation, right? Like they were different people, but like. That was when America was like. But we also. That's when America meant something. Uh, like, personally, like, it was America. It was but we also didn't know on 9 11. We weren't as divisive. I don't we didn't know who attacked us. We like we just. Oh, there there was. Right, but then when they know. talked about WMD, and then when they. But when it, when it spun up as to who, who it was, and it was, it was Middle East. Oh, we're going to go in there, right? I mean, that's kind of that's what it was the propaganda. Yeah, but that it, how pushed. long did it take? Like, the day after the attack. Right. The president goes a date that will live in infamy. Right. You know, the yeah. day after he declared. And we're talking about Pearl Harbor. Again. Yes, Pearl Harbor. We, we're day, bouncing back December and forth. December yeah, right. 8th, 19. Seven, seven. Well, the seven, December yeah. 8th, 1941, the day after the attack, yes. he says, We're going to war with Japan and we're yes. going to war with Germany. Yes. The next day, he declares war on two countries. Yes. He had to so, declare on both, though. Well, Rega regardless of him going, again, going actually to the Pacific and declaring war against them are two very different things. Oh, true. Right? So. He, that didn't mean he was going to have the peop the troops to do that either. True. Not yet. I'm not, I'm not saying that right. one or yeah, the other. You're right. You're I'm right. just saying they're not they're not linked that way. But go ahead, please. I'm sorry. But he, no, it's fine. Um, I believe Germany had already declared war on the U.S. I, sure. I think so. But they hadn't done anything. Like, true. You but he, you're right. So right. it was easy to go. Well, yeah, we declared war on you too. Okay. Right. Blah, blah, blah. And they were allied. They were the Axis powers. We right. we, we declared declared war against. Be Italy as well. Yeah, and, 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 and Germany already knew we were feeding, just like you said, Germany knew that right. they were, the, the, the British and the French were already getting our stuff. And I think Roosevelt even made a comment, something about, hey, if your, guard, if your neighbor's house is on fire, you lend him your garden hose to help. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That was how he justifies. Like, we were helping with equipment and, and you know, food, this, that, and the other, which totally makes sense. I mean, I would, it would be dumb not to. Of course. But committing men, committing your people on a land that isn't yours? Yeah. Like, World War... I don't even know how our involvement in World War One and the extremities of that. Like, I, I honestly am very not schooled on World War One, But World War Two definitely was about America finishing the fucking job. We well, had, so was World War Two. I mean, the U.S. was in it for two years. 43,000 U.S. soldiers died. 
million, I mean, millions and millions of Europeans died. And you're talking World War One. World right? War One. Oh, okay. Millions of Europeans died. Right. I mean, one battle alone lasted seven months and 700,000 Europeans died in one battle for, for, for a mile of ground. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. It's a seven month battle. It's ridiculous. But like, I, but the, how that war was, it pulled all, all these people in politically, but we didn't really have a dog in the race. No, we like, didn't. It, didn't it wasn't sense. like for a regime. It wasn't like a Hitler regime. True. It was literally, uh, Ferd Ferdinand was killed or Prince Ferdinand. So, there was an assassination. Correct. Yes. Right? It was, um, and that's how it started. I mean, a Austria. Fucking, yeah. Ottoman empire. Thank and you. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. The ones with the, you know, you put your feet up on them. Really comfortable on those couch on the sofas. Yeah. The Ottomans. Yeah. Totally. Ottomans. So comfy. Um, so for a long day, <laughs> I could unwind, man. The Ottoman empire. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, that, that's how it was. Right. So I don't, I don't know, but I don't know like why we came in and like clean up just, we needed the war to end. So we just took a side. Like, I don't even know. I just know that the Prussians lost. Right. And through that, the treaty of Versailles and all that 1918, yes. 1919, whatever that was 18. fucked Germany so badly yes. that Hitler eventually was able to use that again Rose, as man. the rally cry. Mm -hmm. Right. Cause even great depression, we were 33%. Germany was like at 50 fucking percent. So you're saying that, the United States, uh, similar to Northwoods, used Pearl Harbor as a tactic, ne a negative tactic for positivity. Yes. In a, uh, and positivity yeah. is a bad word because it is a war we're talking about. Right. It's, it's to get us to justify our commitment to it. That's what we... We needed a reason. That's my opinion. Okay. Do I... I don't know this as fact, but how many times have, have have you come across a weird article that just doesn't smell right? I mean, there's no, there was complete surprise. I mean, that seems, seems just a little far fetched. And so you would think the same thing with the, with the, the bombing of Pearl Harbor. I'm sorry. The bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you know, we killed 50,000 people in one day yeah. or one minute. But Truman did that to end, to end the to war, end it, to, to literally put the final foot. And that's a horrible thing. And, a, and, a, and, a, and a, I mean, think about the decision that he had to make and that's to put anyone in that, in those shoes. Yeah. And he, I guess you would feel like you have no other choice. Like, look, do we do this? And do something that's never been done before. And I mean, yeah, it's been tested, but it's never been done before in an actual, like, live situation. He's either the bravest, most altruistic person in the world or the biggest monster you've or ever seen. Or worse than Hitler. Because well, it wasn't, the bomb itself wasn't necessary. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the actual killing of people. But it did, it, it was necessary to look like it was like we had the power and there's nothing they could have done. They had to stop. You know what I mean? I yes. Know. And they I'm were not saying they were, it right. I mean, they I'm not were saying it correctly, but they were warned, you know, we, yeah. we did drop the leaflets on both cities yeah. days before and said, you need to leave. And you'd be a monster. If you didn't, you'd be a fucking monster. I mean, it was civilian site. It, it, it was, was a and lot that's of, terrible, but there was a lot of military. Don't get me wrong. It was all splattered in there. I'm, I'm not, Oh, saying right, what right, right, right. Truman or Truman. Yes, right? President Truman. What President Truman did, I'm not, I can't even imagine having to make that decision is my point. You know, is right. Like, fuck. And do you look at it? Kill all these people. To your point, to go back to Northwoods, to your point is that, do you look at it as what President Truman did? He made the decision to kill, I think it's 50,000. I, yeah, what, whatever the Hiroshima, number is. The first one. Which, whatever the number is. August it killed 6th, people. I think. Um, August 5th. Remember the in fallout the, wasn't exactly great. No, either. that was, there was radiation, generations so. of, yeah, of so bad it's not, things happened. Yeah, so let's not kill so, ourselves. It wasn't a single in that split second. All those people died. Yeah. So and he he had to weigh the option of okay, do I do that or do I approve the land invasion of Japan? Yeah. Where the estimates were five hundred thousand American GIs are going to die. Out of how many? Uh, well, they of a million. They were talking. What I read is. 
fifty percent of the American force would die. Fuck. My dad was training for that. Really? So yeah, and I didn't know. And he's a, he was a marine. Correct? He was an army. Army. I'm sorry. So army. he was on a ship, and they were training in the Pacific on um, beach ranger ship. or just no army. Okay. Uh, Seventh Cavalry. 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 Okay. So they had horses then. They didn't even have yeah. tanks or uh, airships yet, obviously, because it was World War Two. Dirigibles. He was old school. So um, they had dirigibles. Dirigibles. So that's a great word. So he, he, he told me all about the, the um, disembarking from the ship onto the landing craft, climbing down the, the, the rope ladders, and then they would do beach landing practices twice a day, every day, for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And then they he then I, I didn't realize the scope of the immensity of your hat. I didn't realize the scope <laughs> of, of the proposed land invasion of Japan. And then I started reading about it and they talked about all the aircraft they were going to use and all the ships they were going to use. And it made D-Day look like a joke. And they yeah. were talking about a million U.S. soldiers landing on the mainland of Japan. And 50% were going to die were the estimates. Oh. Which, that would mean... I had a 50% chance of being here right now. If yeah. Truman did not drop the bomb. Yeah. That's f fucked up. Yeah, literally. But America did a terrible thing by killing all those Japanese people. Yep. In the name of... You, we, you have to stop this war. Yeah. Because the Japanese, as honorable as they are, they... It was honorable to a fault. Can I give you my take? Please. Tell me to shut the fuck up. No, I love it. But... I get what you're saying. I think there's slightly different circumstances, and I'll sure. explain why. Um, we were already in a war with Japan. Yes. And we had already seen with the Pacific how challenging, Bloody. how challenging. We, 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 we really don't talk about the Pacific enough. True. We, we always talk about Europe. Mm hmm we always talk. You don't talk about the, like the 300 men like taking on thousands because they're dug in like fucking ticks and shit and just fucking picking yeah, people. Yeah, Guadalcanal. Yeah, yes, like et cetera, et cetera. I'm sorry. It's, it's fucking nuts. And I, I don't even know enough about it. Yeah. Right. It's fucking crazy. And it's finally, there's finally some, a little light shown on that. But let's be honest, Europe gets all the attention. True. Because it's our, it's our thought process. Like that's not, that's the Eastern world. That's not the Western world. That's probably a big part of it is that we had, perhaps that we push. Our it's our belief system, right? Like, well, and the, the, Asia the, the, is more of an Eastern. It's a different philosophical, cultural kind of thing. So, we, you know, we kind of birds of a feather. No, yes, it's also the fact that the the Nazi concentration camps. Well, right, and I mean, in that, Germany because it was against Germany, right? And Germany was in Europe. I mean, that was yeah. not happening to the degree yeah. that it was in the in the in the Pacific theater. Well, well the Japanese killed soldiers. Yes, they the Germans killed everyone. So killed their own fucking people. Yeah, Jesus Poles, fuck. French. It didn't. They didn't care. <sighs> fuck. It just makes me up. It like makes me uneasy just talking about it. Um, but to that point, uh, we don't talk about Pacific enough, right? Obviously, for that, for a couple of reasons. But yeah, so this is the thing. We were already in the war. We had seen how devastating Japan could be. Continuing that, we just took the numbers and, you know, did math and went, that, you know, estimates, right? Yeah. And it could have been better, it could have been worse, but the estimate is just basically off the rate of what we saw here. We're just extrapolating out and kind of going, okay, cool. This is how it'll be, but, right? Yes, but the Japanese mainland was probably the most fortified right. piece of land in human history. Right. No, my point is, my point is though, their numbers came off of that. Yes, sir. right. And yes, they sir. knew it was going to be bad, mm -hmm. but they were already in the war. Mm -hmm. With Northwoods, what's a little different about it is it would have pulled us into where we would have lost lives that we normally wouldn't have. Let's look at it True. without touching anything. True. Untouched, Cuba, Cuba kind of fell. We now have open borders. Yeah, it's 50 years later, 60 years later. Right. But now we have a relation with them again. Yeah. Right. Whereas if we had gone through with that, the relationship may either wouldn't be there or be a territory. What? A, who knows if it World War three would have happened from that. Right. We don't know. It's kind of an unknown. Yes. Right. Where with Japan, I think we had an idea that if we we needed Japan to lose, like we need Japan was not going to surrender. We just knew that. So. Yes. How how would we let get them to surrender? Yeah, that's the only way we could do it. And it's 
it sucks. And I can't even imagine the choice, you know, like we, I even talked about Churchill had, uh, he had a, when I think he was a part of that battle, right? The 700,000 Europeans, they lost 45 fucking thousand people in one battle in world war one. And he was like demoted and shit. He almost was completely out of all, you know, decision-making military politics, whatever. Cause, cause of that decision. Right. But it was a risk reward thing. He knew if he, if they won that, or if they got through that, it would have done this, right. You know, he didn't know how, it was a risk. Yeah. And he took it. And he needed that at some point because he, you need to be able to have the fortitude to kill people. Well, you're basically sending people you're to right. die. That's a horrible. So it's a direct yes. killing of that. You're, you're absolutely right. I mean, that's a horrible thought, but that's absolutely correct. But without Churchill, if he had been demoted, whatever, he was so vital in the strength of the people yeah. of Great Britain. Of course. Who could have filled those shoes? Who knows? We don't know what would have happened there. So. It's weird that, you know, I'm not saying that he did a bad thing by those people dying. I don't, I'm just saying that was a bold thing, but it could have cost all of us because he could have lost his future commit, you know, his future influence on World War II. Yeah. 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 It's fucking crazy. But anyway, so Northwoods, yeah. we were willing to possibly willing, actually willing because we to just kill need to ourselves and blame other people so we could kill more of ourselves. Of them. Fighting them. Well, yeah, yeah but in, more, in a way we die Americans as well. Americans would have gotten killed. Right. Yeah. And that's one I think a lot of people don't really know much about. Anything. And when you talk about it, you're like, are you fucking kidding me? And then it's, it's they're unclassified documents. Yeah. It's not, it's not classified anymore. So, yes. <laughs> yes. That's what we did, boys and girls. Um, which, America. Which makes me think of what. That didn't, nothing happened. So, how many thousands more are out there that actually did happen, which are excessively worse? Yeah. That, and which we'll never know about. Well, we talk about Gulf of Tonkin. Right. I mean, that's what pulled us into Vietnam in the first place. Right. It's an incident where they claim they had three boat radars and were torpedoed by the Vietnamese. Yeah. That's what, like Pearl Harbor, an attack on us. Yes. Pulled us into the conflict. Which was so stupid. And it was fucking fake, ladies and well, gentlemen. the Secretary of State admitted it would never happened. Right. Never happened, boys and girls. So, don't get me wrong. I'm blessed to be in this country. I'm fucking blessed. But I did a podcast about free speech. It was like three minutes long. <laughs> and guess fucking what, man? I'm so glad that I can at least openly uh, look at these types of ideas. Maybe be slightly critical, but more, you know, analytical about what the fuck we do. So thank you, America, for both giving us that freedom and giving us the, the content to talk shit about it. <laughs> and tinfoil. <laughs> Shiny side down. Shiny side inside, boys and girls. It protects the brainwaves from that way. I got to bounce them back early as soon as possible. Keep them all inside. We had this as a symbol. We're not sure if it's a gang symbol, Don't do it. but if this is, I'm so sorry. Oh, we're gonna scissor us. <laughs> scissor me, scissor. The scissor. Me. Um, that can't be a gang symbol. Scissoring. I think this one's one. That's like, hey girl, Cosmopolitan magazine. Yes. Oh, the moi. You yeah. have to do the moi. He's like, yo, yo, bro, you didn't do the moi right. I don't think you, yo. Yo, Devon, I don't think he's part of us. He didn't do the moi right. Good job, bro. Good job, bro. Hey, Ashton, get over here. Yes, sir. Did he do the moi right? Uh, I don't know, sir. Whatever you say. I don't know. I don't know what we're talking I, about. I have no anymore. idea. Totally. Don't, don't participate in medical activities. Okay. Just don't do that. Okay. So, um. Number two, sir. Yeah, so we're done with Northwoods, I think. I think yes, sir. <laughs> Ponies. Beaten to death. Um, the second one that we were going to talk about. Yes, sir. Which one was that? Flight 103, Pan Am, 1988. And that was one you brought to me. Yes, sir. And I remember going, bro. Bro. That was just a bombing. Right. And you're like, oh, yeah. And then you delved in, and then what? And then uh, we read about it, and I had some conversations like usual. And... Uh, 
it turns out one Libyan gentleman did get convicted and he did eight years. Yeah, somewhere between eight and ten years. Yeah. And then he was released by the Scottish government because he had prostate cancer. As an act of compassion. Yeah, he had three months to live. He ended up living two years and he passed away. Um for the he got convicted for the death of two hundred and seventy three people. Yeah. Eleven on the ground, you know. One eighty nine in the air. One hundred eighty nine Americans. The Americans. rest were two. Yeah. So it was two seventy ish. Something like that. Yeah. Um. Pan Am seven forty seven. Yep. Lockerbie, Scotland. Um, seven p.m. So it was that. It was dark. It was. Uh, they searched two hundred and eighty square miles. It was fucking ridiculous where they found what they found. Yeah. So it. Um. The bomb went off. Where they were six miles in the in the air, and I, I there's a lot of stuff that I learned that I didn't didn't know or didn't remember because I didn't. I mean, I obviously I saw it in the news and I thought it was a horrible thing, and you know when it when it, it always affects me when somebody passes away like that for no reason. There's no yeah. oh I hate this country, I hate that country, and <laughs> we're all here for such a short period of time. Why you got to be a dick? Just right. don't be a dick. How about, you know, you want to worship that guy or you want to worship that guy or you want to worship Darth Vader? Cool. Don't be a dick. Do you want to know my tribe, bro? Sure. I got tribalism. You do? Homo sapien. Like t- tin foil guy. <laughs> Homo sapien, bro. So, um. Don't know a bigger tribe my, than that. What's my point? <laughs> uh, you're just upset. Flight 103. A lot of people died. And yeah, it's, it's senseless. Up. But. What 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 was interesting to you is like how who got convicted who didn't how all this shit get together is how the fuck they they only convicted one guy and he fucking served eight years and you know someone's got to pay right like someone's got to pay and was was he a scapegoat yes and all this stuff right yes so you send me this article and I click on it and it shows that that PBS show yes uh, it was called My Brother's Bomber yeah uh, Frontline. Yes. Season 2015, My Brother's Bomber, episodes one, two, and three. It's about an hour each, 55 minutes or Something so like each. Something like that. The person who produced it or created the segments is the brother of someone who died on the in Flight 103. On the plane, yes, on sir. On the plane. Yes, sir. Blew up. Um, so he delves into... And it's funny because when he does a documentary, he talks about... And we don't want to spoil it. I would suggest you watch it, but he talks about... How he even felt. And he he wasn't like, I'm not trying to get somebody. I just, truth wouldn't hurt. You right, know? right. And, and the guy who was accused of it claims to the to his deathbed, on his that deathbed, he that he didn't it. do it. Right. That he had nothing to do with it. Right. So then they start exposing some people. So give me, like, you don't know the names, but just give me a general idea of how, how he goes about kind of expanding and exposing it a little bit. So there was, well, first of all, before I do that, don't let me don't let me off the hook with that question. By the way, it, it it shocks me first of all that you know this happened decades ago, presidents yeah. ago. This is still an open FBI case. It's still an open FBI investigation. Yes, I find that disgusting. We put yeah. a man on the moon fifty years ago, and we can't close the fucking we, case. These fuck fucktards. Can we go? We can't fucking Can we find a dude in Sorry. a cave. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. It's shameful. Well, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, which leads me to believe everything that you just said. Like, do we? does the FBI really want to find them? Are we not finding... Are they not being found for a reason? Mm. Because of who they are? Or be, are they protected? Right. Or do they know something? Are they blackmailing somebody else? Or brownmailing, if you're Mexican. Whatever. Well, really quickly, let's expand sure. on that. Because to to that point, yes, um, the Libyan the Libyan government never took credit or accountability for the bombing. They did eventually. No, no, only in a civil case they paid out money. They never took they never they took accountability for it, but they never took credit. They never were like we Libya did this. They paid out two point seven billion in some kind of lawsuits, civil civil suits. So they took accountability and responsibility for it. 
Yes. But but they never claimed like you know how like when yeah they weren't proud, ISIS, right. right they're not like hey we did this yes. to America Correct. spit on America you know, all that Correct. so they never did that and it's very interesting yet the civilly they paid two point seven billion out I in didn't realize that was the amount I believe that was the number I'm going to look at that while you talk a little bit more about how that happened did you have another point behind behind like just that piece that you're just talking about no. <laughs> about how we don't find people in a cave i have a feeling that they don't they just close the case just yeah. just shut the fuck up oh, that's true just close the fucking case or or fucking solve it or or do something more with it or keep well supposedly it's cl it's open yet no fucking resources have been don't be a dick how about that I, thank you for joining us guys we uh that i think that's the message don't be a dick. So don't be a dick, bro. Bro, don't be a dick. But like, or or solve the fucking thing, or close yeah. it, right? Yeah. Like, like, close it. There's no resources being put into it after X amount of time, even though it's still open. Well, then don't fucking have it open. Uh, or if it's open, put some fucking resources to it. So to go back to your oh. question. Anyway, there was nine. This the the, the director, the writer, the the producer of Frontline, whose brother died on the plane, um, Ken Bernstein. He identified nine suspects that were all linked to the gentleman that was convicted, who were all linked to a gentleman in Zurich, Switzerland, who provide the switches, who Definitely. provide the timers, the timers for, for sure. bombs to the Libyan military. Military. These nine gentlemen all from Libya, all were in Muammar Gaddafi's inner circle. So this gentleman spent years in Tripoli, Libya, and all over the Middle East and in Zurich and in D.C., researching and interviewing people and making contacts. And it was ridiculous the amount of information and connections that he made trying to put together the pieces about his brother right. and the flight and the, the evidence. And he went to um, the memorial in Washington and he went to the, the crash site in Lockerbie, Scotland. And he, it's just the, the, the amount of intestinal fortitude of this guy was just so admirable. And it wasn't even, it's funny cause he net, and I believe him the way he talks about it. He doesn't really talk about it like I'm looking for justice. No. He talks about it like I want to know how it got how it happened. He's telling a story. Yeah, he wants to know how it happened. His con the connection of the brother is only a mere connection. Like it's only that his brother died in it. Well, he, and he's a producer for Frontline. Right. So he's naturally inquisitive anyway. And I'm not saying he would have covered this right. per se. Right. This just made it easier to cover but his this. Bro story. His brother passed away. 32 years ago. Right. So, yeah, he still says he thinks about his brother every day, but his brother has been gone for more than half of his life. For sure. So, it's, you know, if you think about that, like, okay, I'm X number of years old now, and you lose somebody like that, do you even, do you start to forget what they look like? Do you start to forget the sound of their voice? Do you start, you know, that's just the yeah. way the human mind works. So, and you make stuff up. You fill it right. in with other experiences or just guesses right you, i mean your subconscious see, tries to protect you yes do you see someone on the street and go oh my god is that my brother right or yeah what what kind of trauma has really happened where was the kid when when he first heard about it or you know there's so yes. many factors that go into it what i found really interesting is they mention like the city you know the city where they grew up or whatever and it's 20 minutes from my fucking house where i grew up that's crazy man and you sent it to me and i thought that was like crazy not ironic people. or coincidental no it's just a direct connection no. no 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 he's like hey check this thing out and i'm like bro bro we probably we probably had in the same circles i mean we're talking 8.9 miles away the so same. it was a 20 minute drive but it's less than 10 miles away and it happens to be this thing that you wanted to talk about you didn't know fucking clue so i thought that was the, um yeah right it, i i really thought it was interesting the he went back and he interviewed Scott, the main S Scottish investigator yeah. and two guys from the FBI 
and he presented them with newer evidence that he found about those nine gentlemen from Libya right. and the ties that they had from previous bombings in 86 in Germany and nightclub mm. where American soldiers were killed. And they, these FBI gentlemen who investigated the bombing in 88 from 88 to 91, right. they had no, that evidence, they had no idea even existed. Right. They said, Hey, these things are linked. Boom, 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 boom. And they, all the players, the equipment, the pieces, all of it fit so perfectly together. There, there's, I mean, the the trail, the breadcrumbs, absolutely. Are, they're 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 very evident. Yes, um, beyond a reasonable doubt, in a my mind, absolutely. And and, I, and I'm just to just to share with everybody, I'm you know our justice system is pretty amazing. Reasonable doubt is one person just can say no, right, out of the group, out of twelve. So reasonable doubt is literally just I have doubt that does not that picture that was painted that way. If there was no count, contradictory evidence. It painted the picture for me. However, it it, it is a story. It is. It, it was. It was the done story in a documentary. That was way. painted. Mm -hmm. Was designed to make me think as, that way. As a viewer, they wanted me to believe this. Correct. They were they were leading me down this road. So as I was watching it, I'm like, okay, green is salt. Yes. Grain for, of salt. Well, first of, all, first of all, let's be honest. Does the guy have a personal interest in the fucking story at all? His brother died. <laughs> in the fucking event. Obviously. Right. So I asked my, I started making some notes and I said, okay, I'm going to ask Checkmark. Is he allowed on this? So. Um, Checkmark does not talk about his military history. Okay. He's. But he can come consultant like Bellier or Belliani or whatever this guy from Sweden is. That was that what my asshole. question, ironically enough, is the gentleman from... <laughs> I, I had no idea. ...from Zurich, Switzerland... I'm not psychic or anything. That, that, ...that allegedly sold these Libyan gentlemen the timers for the bomb. Do you think he's lying? No, he clearly said he sold timers to the Lib Libyan the, military. Lib Correct. Do you think when the when the when the interviewer asked him, "Did you sell these timers to these gentlemen?" Specifically, he said no. Correct. Do you think he's lying? Yes. Why? Because it now matters. <laughs> what? Because if he did, he's implementing himself. But he could be he could be telling the truth. He could be saying He could be. I, why do I think he's lying is yes, what your sir. question yes, is? Sir. Okay. When they talked I, and we don't want to get too deep into the into the, the documentary, but when they talked about going in the room and scheduling and he was a consultant on how to do things, yeah. He knew what the fuck he was do, consulting. He was consulting small compact explosive going off in a lot of various places. He didn't know specifically an airplane or a coffee shop or a nightclub, but he knew he needed to miniaturize a timer and make it into a compa compact thing. They talked about how they organized that, and he was very much evident in that. Okay. So if he was very much evident in that and he sold to those specific gentlemen, then he's more imply implicated. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think him saying no is he has to say he didn't. Because there's no way of knowing. I think everybody else is dead. So there's no way of that he can get busted for saying no. But he, in my opinion, he clearly knew what they were wanting to do when he first consulted. But he's a business. He doesn't care because he's. It's about the dollar bills, right? Right. It's about oh, him yeah, selling he was, the timers. He was portrayed as a very greedy business. Correct. Um. But you know what's funny is like. And it was Zurich. It was Switzerland, not Sweden, Zurich, correct? Switzerland. Okay, we can't, I keep saying Sweden, um, Switzerland. Yes, sir. My point: Switzerland always been historically neutral, right? Yes, because it's been beneficial to them. Correct. They're never been good fucking people. They were holding gold for the Nazis for years, mm -hmm. right? Like, let's be honest. They they just don't see other people's things as their own, so maybe they're able to detach from humanity, their own humanity. Okay, and just say. This is a task. This is a solution. And no, I'm literally just showing you how to miniaturize a timer and put it in here. That's all. I don't. What, what you, you do, do with it, it. Jinx, you owe me a Jack and Coke. Are you a Jack and Coke? Fuck. 
well, we got to bring beer Googles back. Hells yeah. Um, but yeah, right with, that's my point. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I found it interesting that he sounded like he contradicted himself. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. He, cause he talked openly about how he, he, when it came down to brass tacks is when he really got quiet or when he really didn't understand. But generally he's like, yes, I sold Libya military timers. But the whole story, like that whole story thing, it's really interesting about behind closed doors. Like he was showing them, you know, he's a consultant on how to use them. Yeah. He used the word contractor. Right. There's applications there, right? Like, well, how does it work underwater? How do you get a timer to work in uh, an air conditioning unit? How do you get a timer to, you know, all that fucking shit. And it's justified because the Lib- Libya is allowed to have its own military to protect its own sovereign borders. Of course. So, so he can sell to whoever prote- he wants. He's fucking protected. Yeah. So he doesn't he doesn't need to give himself any more targets by saying that he sold it to those two people. I would right. I would deny it till the fucking day I die. There's no evidence or proof that that happened. Why wouldn't you deny it? Or at least if you think there isn't, you know, there, if there's a hidden footage camera somewhere or something but that hasn't been exposed. So I don't know. Like. What would you do? Would you lie? Well, I would do that. I'm open. not a terrible person. Right. Well, well how you- about this? Hypothetical. Hit and run. Hit it, Hit somebody crossing the street. You freak the fuck out, right? Do you stay there and call yes. the cops or do you yeah. run away first? Yeah. Of course I stay there. <sighs> I can't say I do. Initially. I think my first, fu- like, first 10 seconds, I'd run. And then I'd be like, Fuck. Because it gets worse if you run. No, no, I know. I'm saying continue. I'm saying the first 10 seconds, the yeah. knee jerk, the knee jerk flight or flight for of me. Of course. I would say I would, I'm more than happy to admit that I would fucking run. Right. That's human, that's human condition. But it's after those first minute. Yeah. What you do is okay. really what, where, where it separates. Right. Your, but the problem, yeah, the problem is most people bad. have been drinking and then. Yeah, you think it's going to get worse, but you make it worse by not. Doing correct. Right. But you don't, because you see the immediate bad. That Correct. it is, you don't see the pub. Like, oh my God, I'm going to get arrested for DUI and possibly right. manslaughter if this person passes away. Right. Just to go back, oh, sorry. the timer, just so everyone knows, the timer is about the size of two shot glasses. So oh, two okay. side-by-side shot glasses is a timer. And just what I found shocking was that the bomb was placed in the middle of a boom box or... A small stereo yeah. for you young people. And a Toshiba, I believe. A Toshiba. A box. It was even boxed in mini box. box. So it was in well, a, a suitcase luggage with some clothes and a, a small portable stereo inside the stereo box that you would buy at Best Buy or Circuit City. Not, well, they're gone. Or yeah. friggin' Walmart or wherever you'd right. buy a, something like that in 1988. Um, and Radio then Shack, probably. Freaking Radio Shack. They're gone, too. Radio oh, Crack. Shit. Is there one left? Not one. I think they are bank, bank, they're bankrupt, dude. Uh, sure. I Radio. thought there was like three left. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like a Beer Googles episode. Yes. <laughs> what stores are What's, gone? What stores are There's gone after COVID-19 million. and before COVID-19, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. Yes. Uh, w- the point about that is about the bomb and the timer is that the, the, the U S government did a test with a similar airliner, you know, empty. And they wanted to see what a bomb that size would do to a similar type aircraft. And it was bad. Right. I was waiting for you to swallow oh. your tasty treat. Go. So yeah. I, I, I just, I, I obviously I'm not a, weapons expert or a you know a explosive ornithologist orna, I'm not an ornithologist <laughs> or an arborist <laughs> or a <laughs> horticulturist or I don't even like flowers I mean I'm a witch doctor a but uh yes you're not a military strategist uh, or well, well a weapons weapons expert. developer sure you're not Lockheed nor Martin or, nor Douglas or Boeing nor Bing or Northrop or Grumman. Nor Grumman. Definitely so, not Grumman. Yeah. Fuck Grumman. So when they showed that they had an empty aircraft, they took the engines off. And when that bomb went off, it was ridiculous. I was, holy fuck. I, yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. Is the whole side the, completely separated. Please, I, I, I'm please, sorry. No, no, no. 
I, what else? The whole the cot the whole side just ripped apart. I like ripped it apart in half. It, it literally just and that was not a lot of that was not a lot of explosive material. It was small. I mean, it was tiny. It was it was a boombox about this size. And it was so by if that you, by that. Mm. But the actual explosive material was like what? Oh, it's tiny. It's cassette. Oh, uh, those three cans. Three cassette. Three cassettes. So would you say it was the, the the actual explosives was about that? I'd say four cassette tapes. Four cassette tapes. So it just maybe six. I, I, I guess know. I just didn't in my mind. I didn't realize that that small amount of explosive material could cause that much damage. It was crazy. I don't know, was and imagine like, at altitude. You add that and, and going fifty craft. miles an hour, it's pressurized. They said it was fifty thousand pounds of fuel. <sighs> I was like, about that. That is a. I mean, I I know if you camera. cause a if you cause any kind of an explosion on an aircraft that's pressurized that's going five hundred miles an hour, it's pretty catastrophic. Much, pretty much. But this thing just ripped it ripped the plane apart. Yeah. There was an incident where Hawaiian Airlines sucked like one or two people out of a yeah, hole. There's yeah. been that, but it landed right. Whole, so it tells you even hole it was crash. bad, right? But look how bad this was. Obviously, yeah. how nasty just that little bit of explosive. But that's why the be. debris field was the way it was. Yeah. And but I was just shocked. It I could I was I was shocked. Holy crap! Where they found the piece of the timer to me in a tree, in a fucking twenty, 20 feet, feet tall, up, like twenty miles away. Who would look up in the tree? Yeah, I don't. Uh, fucking, it's crazy. So. That lends to a conspiracy, doesn't it? Sure. Internally, right? We we had talked. The whole point we were even bringing this up, just to reel it back in really quickly, sure. is we scapegoated a dude who claims up to his deathbed that he didn't do it. I'm not saying he did or didn't. I'm not, I don't have a horse in this race because I don't know, but I want to know the truth. That's all I want, right? Yeah. Isn't that what we yeah. want? We just want to know what happened. But a guy who's claimed up to his deathbed that he didn't do it. Do you uh, think he acted alone? No, I don't think any, I don't think you could act alone to get all that put together. That is impossible, because I truly believe the Badri thing with the airport. You need somebody in the at the airport. You need someone. You know, what I mean? you need certain places. So to, Badri was one of the nine gentlemen. Yeah, uh, that were one of the suspects. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't okay. want to get I'm too gonna... much into the names, but basically, you need someone at the airport. He was an airport person. Okay, so you need someone there to help. You need someone to help put the stuff together. How do you get the stuff? How do you transport the stuff? So you have a bomb expert, in? right? You have someone who helps get either get the pieces, puts them together for you, okay. or you put them together. This guy, I don't know what his knowledge of bombs are or whatever, but if he acted alone, he would have had to do all of the logistics himself. So do you that think that is an impossibility in my opinion? Yeah. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a um Englewood, Colorado movie theater shooting. Like it's one dude walking in with guns, just guns a blazing. You have to get this thing put together, create the potency that it does, right? Put the bomb and the, the timer, timer. On. when it goes off, make it sure it's correct, all that stuff. Make sure that, you know, it gets in on the plane, all that by yourself. I that seems like a stretch. So Challenge. if he, do you, what do you think he was guilty of? I don't know. I can't say he's innocent just because he says he's innocent. Well, right. And I can't say he's guilty because of association with any of the other people. But that one guy that defended him seems pretty compellingly convinced that he didn't do it. And I think for you to believe, to get to the point you didn't believe he killed 300 people without, you know, that large number of people. Yeah. That's a strong conviction. I think that tells you how strong his belief in his innocence is. Because yeah. you'd be like, somebody's got to pay. Ah, it's gray. It's a lot of gray. You know? And then again, we are of the places, you know, guilt, uh, innocent until proven guilty. As an American. But I yeah. think it was a British guy, wasn't it? A it was the father. The dad? No, the guy who befriended him. Yeah, British, that was right? the father of a, one of the people that was killed. Oh, yeah, exactly. One of yeah. The, yeah, the father of one of the people that was even killed. Yeah. Did, believes that he didn't do it, right? Yes. He tried to defend him. He's still right, trying to, to clear his name, and Correct. that gentleman passed away. Yeah. So to get to that level, you know, I, and watching him come off the plane, like he was hugged, he was like, I don't know what's so going on. So after he was released and he he was had three months to live and he got back to Libya yeah, off the sorry. plane. Yeah. Okay. Let me, yeah, I'm sorry. To, to clarify, at, when he was released for compassion because he only had three months to live because of prostate cancer or something. Yes. He flies back to Libya, and at at the airport, he's at the top of the ramp walking down, and 
you know, one of the eight or nine people yes. is giving him a huge hug, one of the major players, and he gets in a car, you know, and he's just like this hero's welcome. Yes. But he, he looked uncomfortable. I don't I don't think he felt like, look at me. Like, I don't think he was joining. No, not at all. That's, Everybody else was super happy. Right. I got a weird, I just got a weird feeling. Like, he didn't really, that footage did not look like he, like, even if, even if he didn't, you know, didn't do it, some people would mop that up. Like, okay, I'll take the credit. He didn't even look like he was doing that. But that's my view on it. I don't know. What, do, what are your thoughts? I agree completely. Do, do you agree that there was a point that uh, the 103 bombing was retribution for the Ronald Reagan the Libya. Uh, 1986 bombing? Yeah. Uh, they they bombed a couple. There was a bunch of Navy planes that came in and bombed one of um, yeah, Qaddafi, Qaddafi's nice, houses. With F one eleven dynamic. Uh, sure, I, I thought that, sure. Um, and they shot down a couple F fourteen. Shot yeah, down. Somehow he got out of that. They bombed the fuck out of them. Yeah, actually. and a bunch of Libyan civilians were killed. Correct. And it was a lot. It, yeah. it apparently it was um, Qaddafi was picking a fight with with Reagan and something, some kind of skirmish occurred and Reagan fought back and there was a bunch of Libyan civilians were killed. Do you, do you agree that the one Oh three was retribution for the 86 bombing? Yeah. I mean, I believe that potentially terrorist organizations do potentially terrorist organization things. Okay. And Gaddafi and Reagan had a tumultuous relationship. Oh Yeah. They hated each other, right? They did. They really didn't like each other. And right. I remember, I remember that I remember doing a report on that bombing in Libya. That's why I knew it was an F one eleven dynamic. Oh, there you go. Uh, it was the one predecessor, like the B one B two. It was right before that. It's one that's like that goes With swept the wings, wings yes. and then it goes out Correct. when it's ready to bomb. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I love you, man. Yeah, because we're hello total nerd, nerd dorks. Yeah, playing geeks. But, uh, but yeah, I remember that, and yeah, he killed a lot of fucking people to try to get. He used a fucking bazooka to get a fly. I mean, it was you know. Oh yeah, I get it. And didn't work because well, it didn't work. He survived. But and that's that, that's what made also it work. a conspiracy theory of. Did did Gaddafi know they that the attacks were coming? Yeah, but did you not talk? Do you remember when they talked about it in the documentary how he went into this deep state of yes. depression after it happened? Yeah. So if he was prepared. It would have been water off a duck's back with his megalomania, I would think. In That's, my opinion. Yeah. It took him, it, it really jarred him. I don't, I think he felt he was untouchable. I don't, I'm not crediting nor criticizing Ronald Reagan because I don't know the whole situation. Of course. However, didn't we just talk about this earlier? Um, the United States does some pretty fucking crazy things to try to protect the things we think we need to protect. Yes. And Gaddafi at that time in, in the 80s was a force. He was, Iran kind of, it kind of settled already. Like, mm -hmm. that, that already happened. Because we put Hussein in, right? To kind of stabilize. But Libya, Libya is in Egypt, right? It's, it's not in the Middle East, yeah. correct? Libya is in Egypt? Next door to it. Right. But it's not in the middle. It's not part, it's like Africa, or it's Africa, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's Africa, not Middle East. Correct, but like it's all like they're all close. They're right there. Right. Yes. I'm just saying though, it's but it's it's on the African continent, so yes, it's right. not even part of Middle East yet. Yeah, correct. You know, because we 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 bifurcate those two usually, but we it's, talk about it as a center of terror. It's or right whatever. there. Right, but it is right there, and they are they do have money, right? Don't they have? They have oil. Don't they have oil? Yeah. So so they were more than funded. I think that was a kick in the crotch. I didn't think. He, I, I would guess that Gaddafi's like, he's not going to fucking do anything. He's fucking talking bullshit to make himself look good in front of people. So you think Gaddafi thought Reagan would never bomb civilians? I didn't think he... That was a pretty big fucking bombing. I remember that one vividly in my, in my mind. Like how, holy fuck. Because we had Cold War in the mid-80s, but how many things did we experience? There wasn't a lot of bombings. No, we had bombings were all happening in in Israel in cafes and shit, right? Well, like, nothing was ever here. There was like a Vienna one. There was the there was the nineteen eighty three Lebanon, right. with the Marine Corps, right. There was but there was never one here. Correct. Like, it was not, correct. Oklahoma City with his nineties. Correct. Uh, the one in Trade Center, the first Trade 92. Center, ninety three. Yeah, ninety two, ninety three. Yeah, yeah. But same thing, right? Yeah. They, we didn't have like. We didn't, Americans didn't think about that. Right. It so was like, all, to yes. bomb a fucking country was weird. Because we talk, uh, it's kind of what we're talking about. We we're going to carpet bomb Cuba. Yeah. They kind of carpet bombed Libya. They, well, they thought yeah. they'd take out at least the key guy. Yeah. 
But imagine that power vacuum gone. What would have fucking happened then? We yeah. We well, don't know. Look what happened when look he did happened, leave. Look what happened when Hussein. Yeah, was gone. Like, look at these power vacuums that we that are created. Yeah, that we think we're helping by bouncing, and then we remove it. We give democracy. The guy goes crazy, right? Build a guy up. He goes crazy. We remove him. A fucking whole new set of circumstances. And that's not everyone. Don't get me wrong, but we tend to do that more than not. It's like fifty one forty nine. But uh, I would think I, it's I, more I way on the fifty one side. <laughs> but uh, to that end, yeah, I don't. I mean, bombing, I just remember bombing was crazy. And then they talked about the one of the eight players, the eight, nine players, had a missile shot at him into his house from the UN or yes. whatever, right? Yes. There was and a hole was in the roof. Cra- yeah. A little, exactly. A, a missile size hole. cow. It was a missile size hole, and the inside was just fucking All destroyed. the way through, three floors. It boom. Was like, boom. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't even detonate until it was in. Obviously, it went in. It was like one yeah. of those bunker bombs almost, yes. it seemed like. So, oh, fuck. Do you think that... I, by the way, everyone, please watch this fucking documentary. It's so good. Yeah, Bom- My Brother's Bomber, Frontier, season 2015. Frontline. Frontline, sorry. Frontline, t- season 2015 on PBS. It's free on Amazon Prime, for Amazon Video. Thank you. You are welcome. Uh, do you... The million dollar question, I guess, or the $17 question is, do you think Qaddafi gave the order to down Flight 103? I believe that, yeah, I, in my opinion, yes. I, I believe he certainly knew about it, orchestrated it. He had henchmen. Right, so he gave the order. Or, or he's like, fucking do it, bro. <laughs> or he <laughs> gave the order for hey. retribution. Yeah, figure, Look, he just he put on He put on four polo shirts, popped the collars, and said, do it, bro. I mean, let's be honest. Like, how you do I don't give fucking do it. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. you want to do terror? No. Yeah, so kill 80, 183 right. Americans. I'm sorry, okay. good. I so apologize. You're I stepped saying, on you. No, no. Um, he gave it to his one of his henchmen, one of the nine guys, the nine suspects. And then it, I just find it hard to believe that it took over two years for them to retaliate. I, I, well, they also did the Berlin bombing. In the night that bomb. was in 86. Right, but that was af- wasn't that after or did we bomb in 88? Because I thought ours was 86. Ours was 86 also. Was it after Berlin or was it before Berlin? I believe. It was in retaliation of Berlin? Correct. So it it was a back and forth pissing contest, right? But but they took two years to retaliate. I should have studied up. No, you're fine. I should have studied up better, bro. You're going to be fine. Have some vodka. It's the tinfoil hat keeping everything in, dude. I know. My brain waves are getting warm. It's nice and super toasty up in there. (laughs) It's a baked potato head. 98.6 98.6 degrees for 342 minutes. <laughs> You're the fourth member of 98 degrees. Let it rest. It's resting. So it doesn't bleed out when you cut it. So you st- I agree with you that he Gaddafi gave it to one of his guys. Or knew about it. It was like and he do said something. I don't care what you do. Yeah, do something. Down sure. a plane, huh. bomb a nightclub, a US cruise line. What do you think you can get away with, bro? Is basically Yeah. And he's like, "Well, I've got all these ideas." Okay. Great. Here's my here's my notebook. That's and they but they could they did trace it back to one of Qaddafi's guys. Yeah. One guy did eight years and then was released. Right, but that's the guy who claims he didn't do it. Well, yeah. It's the one guy who claims he didn't do it. True. And it seems like just like you said, it seems like a scapegoat. Right. That's the point though. Even if he did it, do you think alone no. he could have accomplished this? No, absolutely not. So just there alone, there's a question. Because yeah. only one person was found culpable of any of it. Yeah. I mean, the other guy they had, they let he got off. Remember, they had two suspects. The other guy got off. Yeah. yeah yes. Which yes. makes it even, to me, makes it even more. It's like, well, let's take two innocent motherfuckers. And one of them. They'll think the other one's innocent, so the other one's got to be guilty. I'm not, you know, yes. I'm not saying it happens in trials, but uh, it probably. I don't did. know. I don't know how. I don't know the, the 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 way the legal thing is, but I'm sure there's a mindset, and there's like, we'll throw a couple names our way, and it's, justice has got to happen to to somebody. So as long as, as long as it's a loose connection, I think they'll make it fit. And it's a lot of fucking people to account for. It's dangerous. Like it's it's dangerous because we get so emotional about about that right because yes all this could be bullshit you know it could have been yeah. something complete it could have been i i am not stating it is but it could be 
like an Iran. That it could have been anybody. That done it, right? Or it could have been right. some dude. With a fucking boombox and a dream. It could have been some guy <laughs> some in. Kind of boombox and a dream. <laughs> it could have been the guy from Say Anything at his girlfriend's house playing. She could have rejected him and then he did that. Yeah, he's pissed. Remember the airplane? They got on a flight. Whoa. Whoa, bro. So it could have been some guy in Scotland with a bazooka. You know what I mean? It may not. Uh, it may Whoa. Have, yeah, but the, I mean. And he have, planted the freaking timer. Right. But like the bomb frame, I mean, I mean, the evidence shows that there was explosives on the clothes and right and all that stuff. So, yeah. I'm kidding. The, right, I know, but I'm just saying the way it blew up. Let's just yeah. say it was this, right? We're gonna just say it was a bomb in the plane in some way. Yes, sir. Some fashion. Yes, sir. But correct, it could have been the fucking guy who just got rejected by his girlfriend and he was after pissed. playing after playing in your eyes with or a trench coat any, and not buying anything sold or, or manufactured, not making anything sold or bought, not yeah. selling anything bought or I just want to hang out with your daughter, sir. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's shocked me almost the most, almost the most, that's horrible, or flabbergasted <laughs> almost me. almost shocked me the most. Wait till I tell you the thing it did shock me the most. You want to go ahead since no. I don't know how to speak? I just fucking with you, bro. Okay. What shocks you the most? Or, or and or bothered me the most about this, this whole thing mm -hmm. is the fact that the U.S. government, with all of the money and resources at its disposal, can't get you a better fucking hat. <laughs> well, I didn't sign the tinfoil the grant. Tinfoil petition number seven. Grant. So with all grant, the resources sir. that the U.S. government has... CIA, FBI, blah, 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 blah. All, all the letters. All of the With alphabet and them. all of the acronyms that I don't know. And, and anachronisms, even. Okay. All of those things. This, this guy puts all this together. This guy, this, yeah. this, I won't say random, but this journalist does all this homework. Yeah, he spends all of his own money. Yep. I don't mean. It may, well, PBS may have given some. Well, he is. He, he made it a, a documentary, so he had. I'm sure he had some company or money. whatever. But regardless, he left his family for like a month. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. He sacrificed. He had two kids, right? So he, he made other sacrifices. Massive sacrifices, right? To do this, regardless of the financial or whatever, he made a lot of personal sacrifices to get answers. And that's what bothered me the most about this is that 183 Americans were killed. And it's almost like we don't give a fuck. Yeah. But this guy is is digging through the basement of fucking Tripoli to find paperwork, and he and he digs up amazing shit that connects the dots passport numbers yeah the You're passport like, number holy thing. shit that was the one and i don't want to i just don't want to spoil her but i'm just saying right. passport number but was a real big you're one. like why aren't i mean obviously it's been 30 years or whatever maybe we should let this die maybe we should just go that's a bad choice of words sorry maybe we should let this just fade close, away close the case yeah close it just let it i'm go so away. sorry yeah. these people passed away if you're religious, say a prayer, cool. And just right. let him go off into the sunset. But yeah. don't let this shit happen again. We have the ability to be good. And we have the ability to kick ass. Yeah, we do. So why don't we do that? When, when this common gentleman... I can tell you why America didn't care. And I, once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a guess. Sure. Where did it blow up? Scotland. Where is that? Europe. Is that the United States? No. If it was on United States soil, do you think we would have been a little bit more personal about it? Of course. Right, because only 180 people di Americans died in Scotland. We didn't lose 189 Americans on American soil. I know. I know that it sounds weird, but that is a geography is a huge determinant of how of threat level, right? Like I, I see. I get it. I you know see what I mean? Like it's I shitty. Do. I see your point. It's shitty, but it's like you know. So it happened there because look what, I mean, 9-11 obviously was buildings and some other shit and it was more people less than we really thought initially, but it was still a shit ton of people and a tra tragedy. And yes. Fucking crazy. But, um, that happened here. Wait, once again, Pearl Harbor here. 
I get your point. Uh, we, I'm not saying that's the whole thing, but that's part that of it. That shouldn't be. No, it shouldn't be. We, we sh- should be better than that. Americans should be. No, humans. Well, yes, but in specifically in this case, America, I don't think America, the one, you know, do you remember the TWA flight from Long Island? That seemed to get more coverage. Remember it just blew up because the uh, fumes were in the in the wing? It was like the wing was were empty, and it it wasn't a terrorist thing. It was just an explosion. It was just a plane flew and blew up because one of the wings didn't have enough fuel in it, and it sparked, and they're clean. That had more attention because it happened o- over American soil. I don't even remember that. That's terrible. I'll, I hope I'm Let's speaking just, correctly. But, sure, I, but I'm saying like, okay, Fukushima. How much did we really hear about Fukushima? Unless you were listening for it, the the nuclear thing with and because of the uh, tsunami, the, the tsunami, right? Yeah, we heard a lot about you it. You heard a lot, but you were also looking. Right? But it wasn't like crazy American. It wasn't like on America, but Three Mile Island, right? Do you say? I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just saying comparatively. Yeah, like, Americans don't. Americans have a very good right. way of digging yeah, their head or being yes, ostriches. Americans don't care about international activities. You're absolutely right. Well, I mean, they don't. They can't see past their own face to be courteous. They to don't hold care the door, about sir. outside of their own community. We can't hold a door for we each other. We can't talk anymore. about that subject right now. Okay, sorry. Tinfoil guy, semen uh, first class my, check mark. I think my brain is starting to fry in this thing. Okay. No, it's good. I'm 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 letting it simmer. <laughs> it's resting. Broiled. <laughs> it's resting. Remember. I love broiled. That is delicious. So, um, we talked about a couple of things. Northwoods. Northwoods. Also. Flight one hundred three. Flight one hundred three. May there be peace. Um. Obviously, we talked about some other stuff, and I'm sure we'll talk about more of these. This hat is here to stay. Not stay, but make a recurrence. A recurrence? Recurrence, or what's that thing when you come back? A you, repeat performance? Re- yeah, when, when you make a cameo, but you come back on a cameo? Oh, ad, Admiral. Um, Admiral Conspiracy. I'll keep this here for you, sir. So Seaman we'll first class check mark. Time. I'll put them somewhere You're on You're dismissed. There. But uh, that being said... This was another fun episode of Knocked Conscious. I'm Mark. That guy's Christopher. Um, you can see him regularly on Beer Googles. Double O Double G. I appreciate the invite. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Well, we we have many. We have a depth and a breadth to our conversations that is beyond just fucking around. All that stuff. This kind of stuff's like really serious. Only because thinking is fun to me. And we have lots of conversations like this. Oh, the other thing, real no. quick before I go. No. Um, yes. That guy who found all this stuff, like the the journalist, yes, right? Sir. Who found all the research. Ken Bernstein. It makes me think of a, an old Native American proverb because you can't wake someone who's pretending to be sleeping. Mm-hmm. And that's what I think America or the world was. They, they're just not. They're, they're turning a blind eye here. They could dig deeper. But they're cho- it's it feels like a choice. Like I'm not even talking about pure rage justice because you're not. I don't. Are you a death penalty guy? Yes. Okay. Um, but like it would have to be extremely compelling for you to convict someone to that, right? For example, like if you had to, like imagine what it would take for you to commit someone to the death penalty. Yeah. Like it would take a lot. Of course. Right. So like even with your compassionate heart. You know, yeah, you just want the answers. Of course, we're not, here, we're not on a witch hunt here. No, no, no. Of we just not. want to know what the fuck's happening. Why? Why would you sit on that? Like, if 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 Absolutely other people right. were, if other people were involved, why? We don't talk about these things to say that we believe that they're that they are. All oh, the Robin Hood, we're men, we're men in tights. Do, 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 do. Anyway, so um, that's terrible. I think, you know what our takeaway is, sir? I think I need a better hat. Well, that too. I'm going to I'm gonna float this down the bring gutter. Those pieces together. I'm going to float it down the river in a little bit. Just like Danny DeVito. Flip it down. Paul Rubin. Yes. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh no. Poison. <laughs> ABC sir. BBD. I love you, man. Love you too, Thanks bro. Thanks for joining. Appreciate I know it. you're going to be on this a couple times, if not whatever more. Whatever it takes. And we're going to do a couple more beer googles today, maybe, and maybe whatever, or it takes. whatever the fuck we do or yeah. nothing. Uh, we're going to probably drink now. All the vodkas. 
Because we have to, we have to have beer googles. Yeah. How can we look up? How can we look up random shit on the internet without beer googles? I would concur, checkmark. So uh, thank you so much for joining us once again. It's been another episode of Knocked Conscious. This has been episode four, a conversation about conspiracies. And please go on knockedconscious.com, check out our YouTube channel, and check out beer googles too, because that's a fun one too. Chris, thanks for being on, bro. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Peace out. I'm not creaking. T-Boy Brigade.